pulled apart, you'll know it's 15 seconds away from the liftoff. Again, not tracking any issues with the vehicle, everything pointing to go, where it should be about 20 minutes, 20 seconds away from launch. Vehicle to internal power. Auto sequence initiated. Vehicle now on internal power. The launch command has been issued. You can see the rocket engines firing. Second umbilical tower. Power is going to start ramping up. Engine turbo pumps at flight speed. Engines at maximum. Turbo pumps at flight speed and lifts off. Sergey Rosansky, Randy Bresnik, and Paolo Nespoli rocketing away from Baikonur and on their way to the International Space Station. And lift off. See the very bright first stage engines cutting across the night sky there on Baikonur. 25. 20 seconds into flight. All systems are running. Getting reports, everything running nominally or normally for the first stage, so getting good first stage performance so far. Soyuz delivering about 930,000 pounds of thrust with those four boosters and the single core engine. Is nominal. They're going to be burning liquid fuel for the first two minutes and six seconds of the flight. Already passed one minute since liftoff. Velocity already approaching 1,100 miles per hour for the Soyuz spacecraft. Your pitch are nominal. Copy. 70 seconds into launch. Into flight, everything's nominal on board. And continuing to get good reports from the controllers in Baikonur. Everything looking good with the rocket so far as the first stage continues onwards. In the flight, everything's nominal on board. Ninety seconds into flight, stage one and two thrusters are working nominally. So we roll pitch and you are nominal. And we have confirmation that the escape tower has been jettisoned. And there you can see the four strap-on boosters flying away, making something known as the Koryov Cross. The four strap-on boosters now detached. The first stage has done its job. And then the core stage of the second stage continuing to burn now. At this point, the rocket already 48 miles in altitude traveling or rather 28 miles in altitude, the Soyuz traveling at over 3,300 miles per hour. 150 minutes in seconds and into flight. Second stage, thrusters are working nominally. And everything continuing to look good with the second stage. I'm getting confirmation from the visiting vehicle officer that the launch shroud, so that protective shroud around the Soyuz spacecraft has been jettisoned. So Soyuz now exposed during the additional climb to orbit. All parameters are nominal. At this point, a little over three minutes since launch, the Soyuz rocket traveling at a speed of over 4,700 miles per hour. Orbit. Getting away from Paolo Nespoli, he's in the right seat. And then Randy Bresnik there at the top of your screen, Sergey Rosansky in the middle. 10 seconds into flight, stability. Everything continuing to look good with the Soyuz rocket. Being propelled by that single engine of the third stage provides about 67,000 pounds of thrust and is going to burn for four minutes and two seconds. Guys, we read you loud. Third stage performance, performs an avoidance maneuver and then drops away. All right, work for page 35. And getting confirmation from the visiting vehicle officer, all of the antennas and the solar arrays have been deployed. So that always a good sign. The Soyuz now going to orbit at this altitude that's going to be raised over the next six hours uh, by a series of different burns to place it in close proximity to the International Space Station. But a flawless launch, a flawless opening of the, all of those antennas and arrays. The crew now in orbit control of the spacecraft from here on out will be overseen from the Russian Mission Control Center just outside of Moscow. 
but uh, a very happy Rosansky, Bresnik, and Nespoli obviously in space and on their way towards the International Space Station. And you will be sending the RDR, RDR command via Karel command, command data link in 10 seconds. 